Hi everyone. I thought it'd be really nice today if we could paint on some stones um, and then maybe we could like leave them as treasures for people to find and take home with them. We could leave them down in our parks, in our local street, in at the bottom of our flats so that somebody could find them like a treasure and take them home. So first of all we've got to find our stones. Now I went out and had a look in uh, Ladywell Field, because that's near where my house is, and near the river I found some really lovely stones, nice flat, smooth round stones that would be excellent for painting on. And when you get home, your mum or dad have to give them a wash and then dry them really carefully, and then that way they'll be clean and ready for you to start painting. Now, you can use some paints if you've got those at home or you could use some pens if you have colored pens at home you could use chalk you could use white chalk or any other color of chalk that you have and have a go what we could do is we could make a face we could turn it into a, a person like this which me and my daughter made earlier He's got his yellow hair and a blue tummy. Or we could just draw some patterns, some lines, make a stripy one. I've used the chalk there to make a stripy stone. Maybe we could put some dots in it. It's got dots as well dots and stripes. Maybe we could have some zigzags. So up and down and up and down. Just like that. And we could try using paints. Let me show you. Choose a nice bright colour. I've got a nice blue here. Put some water on my brush. Putting the brush in the colour and swirling it round and round to make sure there's lots and lots of paint on my brush. Like that. And then take the stone, let's choose this nice big round one, and I can paint on it. Oh, I can cover up this whole stone in a nice bloom colour. Can you see that? Cover all the stone up. Like that. You could leave it to dry, and then maybe when it's dry, you could, you could do some more drawing on it. Or we could just add some more colour. Let's choose a pink one. So I've rinsed my brush out, and now I'm choosing the pink colour. Putting lots and lots of pink on my brush. Let's see if that works. pink colour on the black stone. I have to have a, a play around to see what works on the different colour stones that you have. Okay. You also use a felt tip pen. And you could, let's see. Do some do a face maybe with some eyes. Nose, and a mouth. Hello. Best of all is just to have lots of fun, having a go, trying, trying to make a, a pretty stone that you could leave out as a treasure for somebody. And if you live near to Lady Well Fields and leave it there, maybe next time I go out for a walk, I can see if I can find them. All right, enjoy, bye.